are your thoughts on, you know, we all hear call to action, you know, towards the end of a speech, people, you know, they want to offer their products and services. I mean, what, what are your tips for kind of doing it in a more authentic way? Again, that's where I go back to my story is always part of my story. I am the brand, by the way, you are now the brand, not your product, not your services. Yeah. You are now the brand. So part of my brand is I stutter. Part of my brand is I am a sports enthusiast. So everything I, I do plays off of that. So going back to the most coaching thing you were talking about, mm -hmm. I run book launch parties for authors, virtual or in person. Which is exciting. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah it's it's Because it they want the publicity, right? <laughs> Because yeah. it's part of the interview, it's part of highlighting them, it's mm -hmm. amplifying their book to Amazon, whatever it is. But through that, I'm helping to amplify them as that thought leader. It's not just about mm -hmm. their book. So my mm -hmm. goal is to amplify them. Now, I also coach them on how do you show up here on camera? Let's have some books on your placement over here. Let's maybe have an mm -hmm. easy QR code. All the elements I use, I coach them to come along more on camera so their event goes off bigger and bigger as well. Yeah. So Gosh. I blend a lot of elements and that's all the authentic me. I just can't stop talking about media. <laughs> well, when you're passionate about something, it's so easy and effortless to, you know, to share and, and really want to give to other people. And I know you are one of those people where you're just very, the first time that we connected, we connected on LinkedIn. So I, I believe I reached out to you on LinkedIn because really my goal was, I would love for you to interview some of our, you know, some of our clients. And I know yes. we have a couple that we've already talked about that I can't wait for you to meet. Um, but that's, you know, the platform on LinkedIn, what are your thoughts on, you know, Facebook versus LinkedIn and, and really, you know, in terms of media, which so, one or are they both? So great question, Shelly. That, 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 that's yeah. great. Facebook's more for the family and it's become more mm -hmm. of a loosey goosey platform. If you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, a CEO, LinkedIn is my number one preference. I, yeah. I get up, my LinkedIn goes on in the morning, doesn't shut off, so I'm done for the night. Me too. Oh my goodness, I love LinkedIn. <laughs> because Quick for the business, that's yeah. your platform, that's your place. Now, they're getting yeah. more video geared. So now you can do three-minute coaching video. You can talk about your clients, your expertise. We're streaming live on LinkedIn Live, I believe. So people can literally see you right now in the moment doing this stuff. Plus, yeah. you can integrate it with other platforms in other ways. I think LinkedIn is the number one business platform for speakers, entrepreneurs, CEOs. Totally Have agree. a killer profile, have links and highlights to your content. Let them know what you do. Like I coach people to rock the stage. That's my tagline. Yeah. You can figure that out pretty easily. Now, Facebook still has a great service. Mm -hmm. And I know you have a great following in the Facebook groups. If you're going to be an entrepreneur business person, create those groups, use it as a funnel to get them into other things you do. It's not mm -hmm. an end all. You don't just hold them there tightly by yourself. You use that group to add more value, to bring them to your live shows, to bring them to your interviews, yeah. to get them into your courses, they both play a big part, but number one right now, overall, I'll lean more toward LinkedIn every day. Yeah, me, me too. And, you know, I'm not going to completely go away from Facebook. I'm trying to dabble into Instagram. So for my followers, you know, if you have any tips for me, I would love them. Uh, we, you know, we're trying to, you know, figure out a way to, you know, integrate that with our company. Um, and TikTok, I'm not there yet. You know, TikTok, I have some of my clients that do it. <laughs> so let me show you yeah. two, two, two quick stories here. Okay. I let Instagram go shallow for a while during the pandemic. It just wasn't popping. It wasn't, they, they added a lot of reels and features and stuff. I'm like, just too much, just yeah. stop. So I just recently reactivated stronger on Instagram for oh. speakers and leaders like us. It's a golden gem. That's yeah. my third platform that I use now. And it is getting results. Now, TikTok, yeah. I tried to be all professional. And I was doing some coaching videos on TikTok and having fun. I got sucked into doing soundtrack ad-libbing and microphone singing and dancing yeah. and being goofy. I found it as my outlet for fun. Now, I know a lot of people use it for business now very successfully. Mm -hmm. I just think well, I have influencers. For fun. Yeah. Influencers. You know, a lot of influence, influencers use TikTok and they make money. They make a lot of money on Instagram too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. There's a lot of platforms, a lot of ways to go. The thing is, number one is you have to know who you are as a presenter. You have to figure out how you're going to come across in this camera. Um, my personality is fun and light. I like to have a good time. And, you know, what's your personality? What's your brand? And how are you going to communicate that here? That would be more important than any other graphic font um, yeah. picture you can put up. They want to know you and how you come across. Exactly that. Yeah. And, you know, we, we actually have. OK, so Kay is asking a question. What is the platform again on Instagram that you mentioned? So Instagram now has Reels where you're going to have a video clip and things like that. 
Uh, and there is another one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this live, everyone. Hang, hang tight. This is a great question. Oh. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go to Instagram right now. So okay. there is, there is now, you have insights, you have contact information, you can do reels, you can do a live feed like we're doing right now. You can grab your phone, jump on live, talk to it. So they have much more interactive tools, plus mm. these square cubes that you always post and get leads and follows that way. So it's much more media savvy than ever before. Yeah. Yeah. And Kay says it's 11 PM where she is in Tanzania. So is it too late for her to do a TikTok or Instagram post? It's never too late because it's never too late. <laughs> and that's, that's right. how so there the pandemic. There's no time zones anymore. That's right. There's that's none. right. Such a great point. <laughs> and, and, you know, Rich, we're, we're coming to the end of the show and I just want to make sure that people know again, can you talk about your QR code there and how wonderful it is for them to just take a quick picture and what it does? Yeah. So if you literally grab your phone, bring up your QR or, or the picture app, take a quick snapshot that will take you to my hi, hello business card. Get a wonderful picture of me. And it has all the other websites and all the information to better contact me, including my phone number. Um, I encourage you to connect so I can coach you up, equip you up, uh, talk about book launch parties, talk about how I have a highlight feature called uh, Spotlight, and we spotlight you. It's only 250 bucks. Uh, yeah, that's so such a, a deal. Oh my gosh, that's part of the marketing budget and, and a smaller piece of the marketing budget. <laughs> and you know, I have larger scale, smaller scale, but that's an easy one to get into. But if you want to learn more, yeah. that's the easiest way. You have everything to find me on social media, and I love to connect with people. So please take advantage of it. Oh, that, that is fantastic. And I'm going to learn from you how to make one of those QR codes for luminary leaders. I can help you out there. <laughs> I would love that. I would love that. Well, by Rich, the way, by yeah. the way, we've not mentioned that we're not done here today. We're not. We're, we are not. We're going to flip the conversation because do you want to go ahead and tell them what we're going to be doing later yeah, today? Coming up tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to flip the script, flip the microphone, turn the tables. And Shelly Harrison would be my guest on How to Rock the Stage tonight. How exciting. And I can't wait because we had fun here and we get to have more fun. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And where can people, people find the show? It's a full hour. If you're on LinkedIn, you can find it there. There's an event on How to Rock the Stage with Shelly Harrison. You can click. You can register. You can go to my Instagram. There's a post on that. You can go to the Facebook. You can post on that. You can go to my website, uh, rockthestagemedia.com. You can register. Find the ticket registration. It's free. Absolutely free, but we have a full hour with Shelly live tonight. You don't want to miss it. So excited. And I'm going to have a wardrobe change and, you know, just kind of doll up a little bit. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. So, Rich, again, it's been so much fun. Thank you so much for being on Luminary Leaders Live.